Hey friends and welcome back to our gathering at home. Today I'm going to show you how I make fried chicken. Packed full of flavor, I want to help take away some of the fear of frying your own chicken. Let's go. Start by covering the chicken with water. I have about one to two pounds of wings here. I choose wings because they're pretty easy to cook and my favorite piece. Anyway, fill the bowl with water. Generously salt the water and add vinegar or lemon juice. Allow the bird to enjoy this spa day in the refrigerator for at least two to eight hours. When you're ready to begin cooking, fill a pot with 48 ounces of vegetable oil. Go ahead and keep that bottle so you can return the oil to the bottle once it's cool for easy disposal. And yes, really, I use the whole bottle. Now, rinse the wings well and remove any remaining feathers. Be sure to wash your sink and bowls with soapy bleach water. In a separate bowl, combine two cups of flour, a fourth cup of cornstarch, one sazon packet, two teaspoons of pepper, one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of Slap Your Mama seasoning, one teaspoon of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of spice mix, one teaspoon of cumin, one and a half teaspoons of oregano, and one teaspoon of lemon pepper. I know, this is a lot of seasoning. Go with me. We're going to coat the wings. I've sprinkled some of the Slap Your Mama seasoning over the bare wings to give the wings itself some additional flavor. I like to use this Cajun mix because it has a tiny bit of heat. Add the wings to the flour mixture and toss. Then take the wing tip and tuck behind the drumette. Sometimes it doesn't stay the first time, just keep trying. Make sure the wing is completely covered and shake off excess flour. Then you have a neat little wing. Test your oil to make sure it's hot. Sprinkle some flour in the oil. If it fries immediately, it's ready to go. Gently place your wings in the oil. Do not throw them in. You can injure yourself or start a fire. When you've placed about four to six wings in, turn up the heat to maintain the temperature. You can cover the pot, but it is not required. After frying for just a couple of minutes, reduce the heat back to medium high. Checking on them periodically, you're going to give them a little stir and check for browning. I like a nice golden color to my chicken. About now, it's looking pretty golden and crispy. We're going to check to see if they're done by making sure the innermost part of the chicken reaches at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Nice. You can go ahead and put them back in the oil if you'd like them to be more brown. Otherwise, line a pan with paper towels or sliced bread and allow the chicken to drain there. Friends, here we have fried chicken. You can sprinkle brown sugar over the hot chicken and eat with a waffle or make some sides and enjoy as is. Listen y'all, this chicken is so good. You can find the link to the written recipe in the bio or description. Your support means so very much to me, so please like, follow, and share this video so your friends are eating good too. Be sure to click that notifications bell on YouTube to get notified of my latest videos. Oh, and tag me when you try this recipe. Thanks for cooking with me and see you next time in the kitchen. Ciao.